guys, my name is Mia Dio. I am a comedy influencer. You probably know me from TikTok. If not, that's okay. Not everyone has good taste. Anyway, if you're familiar with my style of jokes, um, typically I deliver them in a Russian accent with my Russian persona, who originally was not my main persona, but she eventually did become my main per- Anyway, that's, that's a long story. In honor of me just wanting to be myself for once, I am going to show you how I get ready and also joke around. We love self-deprecating humor here. So welcome to episode one of Stand Up Makeup with your host, Mia fucking Dio. <laughs> <laughs> Body hair is completely normal. I don't know why it's like so marginalized. Like I, for me, like I'm anemic, you know, like bad bitches are anemic. It's not scientifically proven, but I'm sure if they were to launch a study backed by Harvard, they would find that just anemic people are bad bitches. Because I'm anemic, I would do anything to stay warm. That is why I've kept all of my arm hair. I've even grown out my she beard. It's an experience. I'm gonna be honest with you. So the reason why I believe in evolution isn't because of like any of the evidence. It's simply because of the amount of body hair I have that I relate to gorillas actually. So what do I do when all of my body hair comes back in? I don't just tweeze them and pretend like they don't grow in. I announce it. I have any spiritual girls watching this right now. Just know that, oh, the reason, oh. Oh God, that hurts more than anal. So wait, it's literally the fact that I grow more chest hair than my actual boyfriend that, I mean, I guess that's nice. Like I'm essentially the fucking man. Someone's gotta wear the pants. Someone's gotta wear the pants and um, I'm too insecure to wear shorts. Listen, I have a really valid excuse as to why I'm hairy. If you guys don't know, um, I'm, I'm Latino. Uh, and I'm not saying that all Latinos, but like a lot of Latinos, we're just hairy people and that's okay. Like, that's fine. I bought this wax stuff at the CVS. I've actually never used it before, but am I going to use it for the first time now? Absolutely. So I actually can't take a shot of any liquor without a chaser, but I can somehow just do this. Ah! Okay. Oh. oh, that was a sexy sound. <laughs> I've been burnt too many times by sides anyway, like we need to avoid at all costs. Yo, this product is actually very good. It's called Natural Sugar Wax by Nads. Um, I kind of recommend it, like she's working and my skin is really not irritated. All right, you ready for some real gangster shit? One, wait, wait, can you count down for me? Two, one. No, 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 no. count down again. Go, go, wait, go, wait, go. Ah! You guys know that this is like the worst part. Babe, count down, count down. Oh, what the fuck? Juicy. Oh, that hurt. My mustache? I think you should have asked for consent. I don't know, dude. That's like a really intimate thing. He literally went to go like wash his hands. Like he was like that disgusted. So considering I probably still have product on my face, but it is made of sugar, so I could just rinse it off. Um, what I usually use to like cleanse my skin is the Mario Badescu acne facial cleanser. What I heard is that you're just supposed to get something with salicylic acid if you have acne. All right, so let's get on to the actual things that you have been waiting for, which is my makeup. So the first thing that I put on is this Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Highlighting Cream Made, Cera Made. So what you're gonna do is just like, Lather this on until you actually glaze yourself over like a donut. So this is what I use essentially as everything. So this is a Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 185. So what I love about the Instagram baddie movement makeup thing is that like you really don't wear a lot of makeup. You just put it strategically. So as you can see, like I am doing like this really odd shape. It's all gonna come together. Then I'm gonna put some right here underneath my eyebrows just to highlight a bit. So now I'm just gonna take my fingers because it's so sustainable. Blend, blend, blend. So this is essentially the before and this is the after. I look healthier. Now I'm gonna cover any and all hyperpigmentation. 
just so it's easier down the line to contour a bit and you're not going to be distracted by like my random red splotches. Then with the same concealer, I'm just going to hide any pimples. But it's fine because we're going to do freckles, so they all typically just like blend in. I literally love her. Like, who is she? Like, what is her skincare routine? It's called fakery. Now I'm going to take the Anastasia Brow Freeze with like a little spoolie. And if you have um, dark, full eyebrows like me, natural, what am I? My eyebrows are microbladed, but if you have eyebrows on your face and you're a fan of the soap brow, I actually recommend this product. If you just take a quick look on how it's literally sticking. So I know that this looks ridiculous, but now I'm gonna push my eyebrow hairs into the shape that I want them to be. Now that your eyebrows are more secure than your relationship, no offense. Not a fan of sparseness, so I'm taking this Oh Hi uh, brow jelly. I don't know, it was in like the clearance aisle somewhere. And I'm actually a huge fan. Remember this product, because this is not going to be the last time I use it. When I show you how I use this product, I use this thing to do freckles. Like, it's amazing. Now we're just going to rub an unreasonable amount of gold on your eyelids. This color is called um, Oh So Glizzy. Glizzy? Oh, Gil... Guilt, guilty? Hi, I'm Jared, I'm 19, and I never learned how to fucking read. So you're just gonna like slap that on. Because the male population, believe it or not, they believe that maybe it'll be natural, you know? Like maybe she just glows like this naturally. It's called subliminal messaging. Now I probably should offer a disclaimer. With this amount of gold on your eyelids, you are a hazard. So be careful when blinking in direct sunlight. Um, it might cause a fire. So now I'm just gonna take my bronzer and just kind of like do a little this on my crease. But with the eyeshadow, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bronzer and put it on your lower lash line like so. I feel like it just adds depth. Okay, and that should be it for shadows. So this is essential. You need winged eyeliner. In order to complete the Y2K 2021 baddie look, for some reason, Eyeliner is not optional. And if you have downturned eyes, look at the way that I do my eyeliner. I've never been good at geometry. I am the first to admit that. But we're gonna be talking about a lot of triangles. There's gonna be triangles everywhere, so I don't know the Pythagorean theorem, but look. I've already messed up. <laughs> okay, so essentially what you're gonna do is just draw one line. It doesn't need to be perfect because no one's perfect. And quite frankly, I don't even know what I'm doing. But you're gonna draw one line up, okay? Sounds simple, but draw it higher than you normally would be comfortable with your eyeliner if your eyes are a little bit downturned. Even if your eyes aren't downturned and you just wanna bring them up, this is what you do. Then you're gonna pull your skin back just so you don't crease and mess up. And you're gonna connect the triangle. So notice how I don't bring it across my eye. I'm not doing that because then it looks too heavy. And let's be honest, I'm, I'm heavy enough. So now we have to do the inner corner. What you're gonna do is follow the natural line of your eyelid down and then do another triangle. So although it's not perfect because like, I, this is not my eyeliner, I had to buy this at the drugstore, but although it's not perfect, as you can see compared to this eye, this eye looks way more awake and just like foxy, very near. Oh, thank you. That oh, scared me. The girls were, were hot. So this is optional, but I like this. Um, essentially, what you're gonna do is take blue eyeliner if you have blue eyes or brown eyeliner if you have brown eyes and you're gonna put it on your waterline to make your eyes look a little bit bigger. So as you can see, I'm just like putting some blue right here like this. So like the blue eyeliner is like really symbolic for me because like I just love to blue ball men. So I know a lot of girls don't curl their eyelashes, but if you don't already curl your eyelashes, curl your damn eyelashes. You're like, oh, but it takes so much time and I'm just like, it's so unnecessary. Honey, your ex-boyfriend was a waste of time, but look at how much you dedicated. Now let's focus on you, curl your damn eyelashes. So just like get up real close. Um, 
and just curl like so. Damn! I was not- this looks good! Look, no mascara. I'm a natural bitch. So now I'm gonna take the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Yes, I fell for it. I saw so many influencers posting about this that I was like, I must purchase. It took- let me, let me give you a brief story time about this mascara. Um, so there was one left at my local Walmart and I was standing there and I'm not problematic. Like I don't like to fight, but if I'm standing there and it was locked too, people were stealing this. So I click the button that I need help. And as I'm there waiting, this questionable lady, mid-aged lady, a Karen, but she was Latina. So um, it was Karen. So a Karen came up and was like, I, what are you waiting for? And I was like, oh, this. She's like, oh, really? Because I was, like, here before, and I was, like, trying to get it. But, like, you know, like, it's mine. And I'm like, but... What? So, essentially, when the worker comes up, this got in, was like, no, it's just like, I was here first, you know? And I swear. I swear. I looked at this lady, dead ass, and I was like... Listen, like, I, like, if you need me to step on her, because I'm a tall bitch, if you need me to step on her, like, I will, but this mascara, I don't play. And it's great. It works. I mostly focus in the center, because I want to make my eyes just look enormous. I, I don't have boobs, so I have to compensate somehow. Like, there needs to be, like, two circular objects that are just large. It's called balance, baby. And then we're just gonna rub that onto the lower lash line like so and that's literally it for your eyes didn't take long at all it looks like everything is great i look like a baddie it looks like i will get paid to post in fashion nova but that's not enough no 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 i want to be bella hadid so what do i have to do contour the hell out of my face so what i'm gonna do is just pop on my bronzer just like this. Yes, I'm being super aggressive with it, but it photographs well, and that's all that matters. I will look like peanut butter baby in person. So, okay, actually, maybe that was a little bit too much, but it's okay. We're just gonna blend, right? <laughs> We're just gonna blend it out. So just bring up this contour high, you know? Bring it up. Bring it up. Is that enough? No, we're gonna add more. So what I'm gonna do is just like right here, that like hollowness, that like shadow that all supermodels have, you know, I, what I'm gonna do is just like, you know, like, uh. I'm gonna essentially connect it to the corner of my lip. And now just contour like the rest of your face. Just like jawline. I want it to be as sharp as possible so I could cut any man with it. And if you have a really big forehead like me, of course you wanna just pack that, pack that pack it on. So now I'm going to teach you how I contour my nose. Now I learned this technique by watching Korean makeup tutorials. I couldn't understand a damn thing, but I, I felt it spiritually. Right now what you're going to do is just extend your nostril like that, like make it into like a long triangle, and that's going to bring up your nose. Then what you're going to do is just, you're going to slap it on like right there on your bridge and make it sort of like a triangle where it's just all triangles then you're just kind of gonna bronze until you leave like just like a small tip of your nose exposed so essentially what contour does um in your dating life is that it tricks men into believing that you're not nosy because knows where i have no idea where she is doesn't exist on my face i'm also gonna put some bronzer underneath my lip because i can so now I'm going to take my concealer and just literally exclamation point it. Exclamation point. Look. Boop. And boop. Now you're going to go back to this gold eyeshadow that you're just straight up abusing at this point. And you're just going to... You think we're done? Absolutely not. We're gonna put more powders on our face. So this is my favorite blush of all time. If you guys don't have it, buy it. Um, like right now. Uh, it's called Happy Go Rosy by MAC. And let me just tell you, it is so worth it. So I'm just gonna go ahead, swiggle this on, and pretend I'm happy. 
And you're just gonna bring it across the middle like this, just because I like that cute little rosy look. I even put some blush up here to make it a little bit more realistic. All right, so now that your blush is done, pay attention, you're gonna wanna listen to this. If you've been trying to do freckles and they just don't come out natural, the brow gel thing that I talked to you before about the Ohai has a very interesting shape. It's like multiple spikes. So what you're gonna do is make sure that you don't have like a crazy amount of product, but you have some product and you're just gonna Oh shit, they found me. You're just gonna like splotch it on. You know, freckles are optional, but I like freckles. And then with your finger, you just you just blend. And now I'm satisfied with the amount of freckles I have on my face. So now what I'm gonna do is take this shade. I've been using the shade since I was literally 14 years old. It's called Soar by MAC. And what I'm gonna do is just overline my lips. I want my lips to look as Bratz doll-like as possible. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just take a standard clear lip gloss and do that so I don't look crusty. And there you have it, folks. That is my everyday 2021 batty makeup tutorial. So if you guys have found this video informative, entertaining, or even just embarrassing, don't forget to leave a thumbs up so I feel validated. Let me know if there's any looks that you guys wanna see next. I could do virtually everything and um, nothing at all. <laughs> You're in such a bad mood today. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is my self-deprecating humor just jumping out right now? Is it like, is it obvious that like I hate myself? Like <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate myself, but I don't hate my makeup. I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out. <laughs> Cut the cameras. Dead ass.